Hello and welcome back to more VGM and Dead Space, everyone. Yep. Don't don't ask me. I was trying to come up with my brain. I was like, brain, come up with something funny, please. Anything. <laughs> Do the thing. Do the thing. <laughs> Do the thing that makes people laugh. No. You failed me, brain. You failed me. <laughs> Sir, again, I don't want to talk about your Lord and Savior, Cthulhu. <laughs> I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. <laughs> so, uh, napalm. <laughs> napalm sticks like glue. <laughs> you notice the flames are a bit more intense on the flamethrower now? Oh, yeah. That yeah, put another point in damage. Heck yes. That is a cool effect, though. That that is going above and beyond, making the flame more like visually different for each damage upgrade. Yep. And if I remember right, or if it's like the old games, uh, the, like fully upgraded, the flames are blue. The blue flames Heck are yes. hotter than red and orange. Oh yeah, they're hotter than orange. It's like a. Um, have you ever heard of uh, white sand? Yeah. I mean, white sand, kind of how it's hotter than normal sand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Anyways, look, we have a map. I forgot we had a map. Yeah. <laughs> But anyways, napalm sticks like glue, sticks like glue. <laughs> napalm do be sticky. That'd be a cool upgrade for a flamethrower. Actual napalm that sticks to things. <laughs> oh yeah. That might be a little too real, though. That's probably why they never, why that doesn't really appear in games. But <laughs> it just, it just, it just might be a little too real. <laughs> <laughs> just a little. <laughs> Maybe a lot. But anyways, we gotta go comms. I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I would ever use the map. <laughs> but see, when you come across things that you don't have clearance to access, when you come across doors you don't have clearance to access, uh, it marks it on your map. Oh. So I was double checking to see if there's anywhere we could. It's like how in some of the original Resident Evils they would mark rooms that you haven't collected everything in. Yeah. And then they would turn blue or whatever once you got everything. Yep. And this game is a lot like that. The doors will I be mean, marked with their security clearance. Yep. Until you open them. Yep. It's kind of the same with uh, Resident Evil did their own style of that too as well. But like, again, Resident Evil... Resident Evil did carve a little way for horror. Oh like, yeah. Especially for games like this. But like, I will, I will say this game is very unique. Compared to to uh, Resident Evil. Oh yeah, and this game is unique to a lot of like horror games because a lot of horror games have like zombies and you know traditional zombie tropes, and this game like flips it on the head. It's like, no, don't shoot the head, cut off the limbs. Shooting the head close. only makes them more dangerous because then they start flailing wildly around. Yeah, it also does not like, kill them. There's gonna be like, you know, we could just have zombies that are like, you know, the the, the ever everyone knows to shoot the head with zombies, right? What if we had zombies that are like chickens, where you, if you shot off its head, it still wanders around without a head. <laughs> yeah, and that's exactly what they do. I mean, it's kind of like, like I also love that they added to it to be a freaking uh, sort of like Left 4 Dead zombies, because Left 4 Dead zombies are fast. <laughs> They're yeah. Terrifyingly fast. <laughs> and the special effects of Left 4 Dead are uh, something else. 
Yeah. Yeah. A bit ter terrifying. Fry. Someone hot wired the dishes together and blew up the system. Well, that's no, fucking stupid. Work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, I'll broadcast a signal. Short range only, but it should work. Okay, do it. I'm not to tell the military ship to not blow us the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully. For real. <laughs> I mean, gotta go that way, so I'm gonna go. Yeah, most people in this situation be like, Oh, the military's here! We're saved! Me in this situation. Oh, the military's here! Gosh, we gotta get communication to them or we're dead! <laughs> Ooh, rig. Don't mind if I do. Thank you, Bailey. Thank you, Bailey, sir. Communications log. First comms operator Bailey reporting. I want this on record. The ship is under attack. But Captain Matthias has refused to issue a distress call. And we all know why. This whole operation is illegal. Aegis 7 was sealed off. They knew it, we knew it, and we all kept our mouths shut. That ends now. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is USG Ishimura calling C. Wait, what the hell? Jesus. He took the whole comms array offline. It's over. Well, uh, fuck. And I see we're just destroying him for, you know, actually trying to be a sensible person and call for help. <laughs> well, he's dead. I can't have him turn it into a space dandy. You know what? Fair point. Justified now. <laughs> Action justified. <laughs> exactly. You think I'm just an asshole that just likes to go around uh, curb stomping corpses? Yes. That's not the point here. <laughs> Just the dead silence afterwards. Gosh, that's great. Benjamin Matthias to Paragon Jordan, Una. This will be my last transmission. Afterwards, I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. Oh, this guy's a crazy too. We have successfully yep. brought the holy marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original marker, is deciphering its secrets. Forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but the suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, the planet crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Let's see Earth go try to cover this up. Altman be praised. Matthias out. That guy needs a bullet to his head. Um. <laughs> well, you're not too far off. And you got a syringe to the head. Well, I guess that's close enough. <laughs> Open the lockers. Give me your lunch money. <laughs> All of it. All of the mo lunch money. Not just today's lunch money. All of it. What are you gonna deal with it? No, shut up, kid. You don't know. Vice crack. <laughs> or power nodes. Yeah, same difference. The same thing, right? Yeah. Engineer, Engineer crack. Engineer crack. I bet we could ask Gear about that and be like, "What? What is engineer crack?" <laughs> Gun plug. That's what, he, that's what he would answer yep. with. You know what? I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> burn you, sucker! Gunpla. Burn! Gunpla freaking uh, Gundam models. <laughs> All those types of things, man. Model kits. I believe it. Ow! Much like how uh, 40k models are plastic crack. Taco knows. Taco's invested way too much money into that. <laughs> Which I haven't painted all of it yet. <laughs> gotta get that triple tap, man. <laughs> I feel that. Bastards. <laughs> that triple tap was important, man. Wow. 
Have a Spooky, scary intestines. <laughs> Um, we gotta do something with the radar dish. But you're also looking for secrets. Secret secrets, everyone. Also, loot! <clears throat> Look, Dragon O is, is a dragon, true and true. <laughs> gotta have that loot. Do be loot, though. Look. Warn, there was something here. How to make these situations not scary? Loot. <laughs> you want to be not be scared? Loot. <laughs> you want to survive? Loot things. <laughs> the more you have, the more likely you are to survive. I love, I love the, how many tries you did that with. <laughs> it took you to do that. It didn't want to come off, okay? I was just like, like it's, it's like a kid trying to imagine he's using the force or something. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> No power to central node. Oh, you have to puzzle this crap. Ugh. No wonder you pulled the ball off, because now, now I understand. You're meaning we actually have to do a slight engineer work? Aw. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> So is there like a specific path it has to follow or there's a couple different ones So that was just wondering I actually think I could have gotten it Less? Yeah. The, oh. the straight ones. Um, if you don't do it this way, the straight ones a bait. You don't need it actually. If you like, oh. take that one out and actually start from this side. You can go up. You just go up, up and left. over. You go up and over, up and over. Over, up and over. Yeah. So you can take that one out. Goes there, and then that one goes there. That one goes there. Yep. That's okay. You didn't need it.
kill though, right? Where is that hole? It's, it's not taco. Maybe it's later. I think you have to come back here. <laughs> I promise it's not taco in the hole. <laughs> Is Nor is it Taco's hole. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure about that? <laughs> Are you sure about that? Mm -hmm. Look, Taco's not equipped with that quite yet. Um. <laughs> yep, being the uh, key thing here. Um, eventually, I was going to talk to you. It's been, uh, peeps about uh, seeing oh. an actual doctor. But... This is USM Valor, broadcasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. We picked up your escape pod number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. The escape pod. Oh, fuck. The pod Hammond jettisoned. It had chip. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to read some. Well, Valor's screwed. <laughs> Oh boy. No, oh, fuck, man. A search and rescue. You didn't think uh, we were the ones searching and rescuing, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> and they are very screwed because their military weapons are. Basically, that pulse rifle, which does jack shit, except in grenade launcher mode. <laughs> Pretty much. They also don't know what's going on, so they're not going to know to cut off the limbs. Well, absolutely not. They're going to all die. They're, they're just... <sighs> <laughs> A horrible, painful death. <laughs> yeah, and then, and then the, when they finally do finally kill it, it's going to be... Oh no, there's five more of them. <laughs> Dear Lord. They are so screwed. Holy crap. They are the most screwed I've ever seen. Anyways, back to maintenance. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Bailey wrote a thing! Oh, I did write a thing. It happened again, third time in the last however long it's been. I came in after shift and found Russo at the transmitter again. It looked like hell. I don't know if they'd even slept since the last time I caught them in here. Not very reassuring to see the chief engineer in that state. Russo didn't hear me come in, so this time I just listened. They were talking to the relay crew again. Talking, then listening. They even laughed. God, how long it's been since anyone on this fucking ship laughed. I know I should say something to engineering. I've already told Russo over and over that we don't have a comms relay crew. That the array is broken beyond repair. That no one is coming to save us. And they listen, but it's like they can't keep those thoughts in their head. As if it's too much. I get it. Everything on this ship is too much. So this time I just let them talk. If a broken transmitter and a mic full of static gives them something to hold on to, maybe even helps them keep this ship running a little longer, who am I to judge? And yeah, maybe I've talked into it the same transmitter myself once or twice after hours, just in case. Like the poem says, hope sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Well, how sweet. Well, I would say the comms are not beyond repair because, you know, Isaac fucking Clark here is fixing them. That's right. To be fair, though, you are Isaac fucking Clark. <laughs> You're not damn right. Alrighty. All I know is that Isaac deserves a pay raise. <laughs> <laughs> 
And maybe he'll get there. Oh, no, it's not time. Never mind. It's not time. We have 10 more minutes, Dragon. We have 10 minutes. Do we have time? I don't know, do we? Oh, guy's sick. Guy's sick. Oh, God. No. Oh. Divider. Oh, no. They've gotten taller. I don't like it, Dragon O. And now he's spitting the Cthulhu babies again. I don't like this. I don't like it. No, thank you. Fucking dividers. I'm gonna call him long skinny ass motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> the long guy. Weapon upgrade. Oh, Ooh, that's, a, that's, that's a, a plasma cutter upgrade. Plasma cutter upgrade, yeah. Ooh, baby. I'm not surprised there's not like multiples of different upgrades around the ship. Just like, oh, you already have this. <laughs> <laughs> that would suck. Like, oh, upgrade. Oh, I already have that one. Oh, because that's what really would happen. <laughs> You'd find a ton of them, but then, but then there'd be occasions where like, oh, this actually is an upgrade, or you're like, or or worse. Gosh, could you imagine there would be like worst cases where you're just like, oh look, an upgrade. No, it's not an upgrade, it's a downgrade. <laughs> oh god, no. It'd be so um... bad. Spend the money. Gotta spend that money, honey. Spend money. I'm not gonna get the next level of suit for a while, so. Oh yeah. They look suits. <laughs> <laughs> One of them level five? <laughs> nope. <laughs> bench. It's bench turn. That's right. Give those nodes a try. Plasma cutter upgrade, baby. Plasma cutter has been upgraded. Look at that full chart. Mm. It is now fully upgradable. You have a choice between capacity, rate of fire. Um, yeah. Melee attacks can knock enemies prone. Heck yes. You can now melee things. You can punch them. <laughs> Increase that reload of the flamethrower. You can... Increase capacity. You don't have enough nodes to get to it no. right now. Contact beam. Capacity. Ripper. Capacity. Capacity. <laughs> Duration. Yeah, you could use more duration on that saw blade. Yeah. Hold that thing out longer, you know? Uh, especially <laughs> once we start getting uh, more and more elites spawning. Oh, there. yeah. Oh, absolutely. They're going to take more damage and be harder to kill. Absolutely. Here we go. For a second, I thought the icon on the door was the bathroom icons. <laughs> no! Sir, please, no. Can you not next time? Not in the elevator, man. <laughs> I'm this so is cursed covered. before we... <laughs> I know. Uh, the Ripper it does a good job, but... Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, it's a bit of a messy one. It's a bit of a messy one. Mm -hmm. We can we can see that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> More nervous laughter. Ooh, oxygen tank. Plasma rounds. Pulse rounds. Yeah, Two plasma pulse rounds. Another crystal no. <laughs> So like this is like me when I'm finding ammo in freaking freaking Resident Evil. I'm like, I don't use this gun. I don't use this gun. 
Oh look, ammo I actually can use! I don't use this gun! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this game doesn't do it that often, but there's a bunch of ammo there for a reason. I know. I know. Please contact a repair technician. That's me. It's blocked by it's the Leviathan. It must have snagged on the comms array after we spaced it. It's not coming off without a fight. Isaac, there's no time. There is if I use the ADS cannons. Manual targeting like before. I can shoot it right off the hull. I got this. You focus on the Valor. Will do. Oh, Isaac. I don't know about you, but I would be like... God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> yeah, Isaac's just like, I got this. That's like, I got this. Me, I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> you guy, mother... <laughs> Another, another problem I have to solve. Fucking everything. Yeah, at this point I'd be like so pissed off. Like, why, why is it that? Why do I have to fix everything? <laughs> when do I get a break, man? Why can't something just work? <laughs> That'd be too easy. Uh. I'm gonna go and put in that power node before I go fight it. That's up to you. I think. I think. I think don't it, die. It'd be the smart thing to do. It would be the smart thing to do, so you don't die. Horribly. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Here we go. Down to the power node. Bench thing. <laughs> Gondola maintenance. Nano circuits. Whoa. Where are we putting this energy beam? Duration. Or size. <laughs> Is that my dick size? <laughs> Is that what it upgrades? <laughs> For Isaac, it might as well be. <laughs> Pretty much. Nah, nah, they can't upgrade his... They can't upgrade his dick size, because it's already the largest it could possibly be. That's <laughs> true, it's already at max capacity. It's at max capacity. He can't get any bigger. <laughs> his balls Same store his balls. so much pee. <laughs> they store so much pee. <laughs> the pee <laughs> stored in the balls. That's where the pee stored, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A dude doesn't know about... His own no, anatomy. Better. How bladders work. <laughs> <laughs> or where the bladder is. <laughs> Alright. Trivia question, does Dragon know where the bladder is? It's somewhere, somewhere in the heart. Or no, deep, in down the heart. In, deep down into the cockles of the heart. <laughs> the cockles of the heart. <laughs> it's somewhere in the subcockle area. <laughs> Subcockle. <laughs> if anyone's listened to uh, Dennis Leary's music, uh, you get the reference. <laughs> of course, I don't know if many people know Dennis Leary for his music or his stand-up. Gosh dang it! <laughs> Most people just know him as Diego from Ice Age. That's him. I don't know this. I never knew this guy, but gosh. Yeah, that is Dennis Leary. He's the Sabretooth Tagger on Ice Age. He was fantastic in Ice Age. He's also a hilarious comedian. It's so funny, because, gosh. Well, who's up around to? <laughs> I, I love his song, I'm an Asshole. It really resonates with me. <laughs> I'm an asshole, Lolo. A S S H O L E. I use public toilets and I piss on the seat. I walk around in the summertime saying, how about this heat? I'm an asshole. You're an asshole. <laughs> and we'll see just how much of an asshole I am to this Leviathan next time on VGM. Yeah, I was like, we're very close to the timer. We got, it technically says 20 seconds, but yes. Next time, everybody, it's close enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was trying to run it out because I know we we're gonna have enough time for an entire boss fight. I I know. I was I I just looked at it. I was like, he stopped here for a reason, probably because we're really close to time. And I just looked and went, we have less than a minute. <laughs> All right. Anyways, next time, bye. See you next time, everybody. Bye.